guys so today's video is going to be the September bookish box unboxing so last month I ordered the bookish box and the owl crate box for the month of August and I was gonna cancel my subscription because I wasn't too interested in sub September's boxes but I canceled my bookish box unboxing like a day too late so right here in front of me I have the September bookish box so disclaimer right before I open this box I will probably not know what half this stuff is from disclaimer 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 I apologize if I hurt anyone's feelings but I will use the referral card and look at what the stuff is but before I get into the unboxing I want to do a mini haul of three books that I bought at the library the other day so if you like my videos please subscribe down below it really helps out it's it's awesome to get a new subscriber also I just hit 200 subscribers that is awesome thank you guys so much for watching and also I had a video hit a thousand views and two more on its way to hit a thousand that's awesome thank you guys so much to all my viewers I adore y'all so 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 much so yeah let's get into the video so the first book that I found at the library that I knew I had to buy immediately even though I don't really think I have an interest in reading it I know it's a lot of people's favorite book and that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak yes this is the movie um, cover and it's pretty beat up but it was 10 cents uh, from the library so I picked it up because maybe I'll have a friend who wants to read it or maybe my mom will check it out. I don't really have that much of an interest to read it right now but if I want to read it I have it in my hands. Did I mention it's by Marcus Zusak? I think I did but if not The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. The next book that I have is Jane in Bloom by Deborah Lin Linton. So this was 25 cents from the library. I honestly have no idea what this book is about. I think I skimmed it and it sounded interesting. I think it's about two sisters. I honestly don't know what this one's about. But like I said, it was 25 cents, so I picked it up. If any of y'all have ever read Jane in Bloom, please let me know if it was good or not. The next book that I have is Cinderella and Company, Backstage at the Opera with Celicia Bartoli by Manula. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name, but it's this book. Um, I don't know what this is about either. Honestly, it said Cinderella. I picked it up. I think I did read a little bit of it and it sounded interesting. I don't know what genre this is, what the book is even about. But yeah, I picked this up. If you've read this, let me know how it is. All right, let's get into the part of the video that everybody has been waiting for and open up the bookish box. Ha -ha! Okay. All right, so the theme of this month's box is literary ladies. So we will keep this on hand if we don't know what anything is. So first of all, we have this little brown paper and the horrible Easter girls. All right, so the first thing that I see is some jewelry. J and Co jewelry. Let's open it up and see what's inside. This is really hard to open. Jeez Louise. Ha! Ah. <gasps> These are so cute! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. I've been looking for different earrings to wear and I will be wearing these. Alright, so they're little feathers. Let's see if it'll focus on it. It's these teeny tiny little feathers. Okay, so my camera's not focusing on them, but I promise they're these teeny teeny tiny little feathers and they're so cute. Let's see what they represent. The J and Co. jewelry are Leviosa earrings. Like I said, don't murder me if I don't know what half this stuff is from, but these are so cute and I will definitely, definitely be wearing those. I have been wearing my Peter Pan necklace from last month's box for literally the whole entire month. I have not worn anything else. The next thing that I see that I will be passing along because I don't drink tea is this Pride and Prejudice Citrus and Roasted Mate Herbal Tea. So it's this little tea bag that you brew and it makes three cups of tea in here. Uh, my mom loves tea so I will definitely give this to her to check out. This is from this is from First Edition Tea Company and it represents Pride and Prejudice. So the next thing that I see is a little oh these are cute. Okay, so it's these little, like, little tabs that you put on, like, if you're reading something, you put it, like, where something important is in your book or something, and there's a quote on it that says, All the reading she had done had given her a view of life that they had never seen by Ronald Ro Roll. I have heard so many people say this name over the past few weeks, but I cannot pronounce it. Roll Donald Matilda. I 
I, I apologize to this author. I cannot say his name. So these sticky notes and the quote on it is from Matilda, which I do know what Matilda is. We grew up on the movie Matilda. Matilda was my girl, my girl. And it looks like there's also a uh, highlighter that goes with it for highlighting quotes and margin notes. That's so cute. This is from the, these two things are both from the bookish box. These are so cute. I will definitely be using the highlighter and the sticky notes because Matilda is my girl and I love using highlighters and sticky notes. So the next thing that I see here, oh, it's a bookmark. Is this a bookmark? Yeah, it is. A, I think it's a bookmark from Nani's Custom Creations. Let's see what this represents. This is all oh, the Katniss Arrow. It's a Katniss Arrow pen. There's a pen. I don't see a pen. Wait, wait, is this the pen? Is this the pen? Oh, this is a magnet. Uh, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Let me just open this up. It says on the book that Nani's, Noni's Custom Creations is a Katniss Arrow pen and highlighter note. This is, I'm confused. Is this a, like, do you put this on a book? Is this a headband? I'm really confused. I'm so confused. I don't know what this is because on the sheet it says, Noni's Custom Collections Katniss Arrow Pin and Highlighter Holder. But I don't see where you would hold a highlighter or a, there's no pin. I don't get it. I'm so confused. If anyone knows down below, please let me know. I would, I don't know. I think, I'm so confused. I honestly have no idea, you guys. It's cute, whatever it is. I don't know. If you guys know what this is down below, please let me know. It looks like it could be weird, worn as a headband, which would be super cute, actually. But yeah, if you guys know what this is, please, please let a girl know. The next thing that I see is a magnet. It said, it says, females are strong as hell. And that is from the Jar of Buttons, which is a Kimmy Schmidt magnet. And I'm pretty sure my friend Jordan likes Kimmy Schmidt. Um, I think she was watching that TV show last semester. So I may give this on, I might pass this on to her to put on her fridge at school. Let's see if it'll focus. Oh, kind of. Okay. It says females are strong as hell. That's what it says. Take my word for it. It's cute. It's cute. But I may pass this along to a friend. The next thing that I see is the bookmark, which is so good. Oh my god. This is, okay, bookish box. Bookmarks are my literal new favorite thing. So this says, you could rattle the stars. And it is from Lexi Olivia and is from the book Throne of Glass. I have not read Throne of Glass yet, but look how pretty this is. It's so pretty. I love it so much. The next thing that I see in here is a sneak peek preview of Piedar O'Gillian's book, The Call. And I feel like I've heard about this book around um, booktube. I'm not sure what it's about, but I have a preview of it if I would like to read it. The last thing in here, which I think it's the last thing. The last thing in here is a t-shirt, which is a Hermione shirt. So this may be having a new home too. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, the shirt is a don't you tell me what to do, Harry Potter. I know a person who will wear this shirt till it rips and gets a bunch of holes in it. So I will be passing it on to her like I did last video for all the other Harry Potter stuff. But it's really cute. I would wear it if I liked Harry Potter. I am not a Harry Potter fan. Don't hate me. So that was my bookish box unboxing. Let's do a recap. So we have the Hermione shirt from appraising, appraising Pages. We have the preview of The Call. We have the amazing bookmark. We have this little lovely thing, which I have no idea if it's a headband or not. We have the, the amazing, amazing, amazing feather earrings. We have the tea, the Pride and Prejudice tea, the Kami Schmidt button, and the highlighter and sticky notes from the bookish box. So yeah, overall, this was a pretty good box. If you know what half this stuff is from, honestly, I knew Matilda, I knew, I've heard of Pride and Prejudice, I've heard of Harry Potter, I've heard of Throne of Glass, I know Katniss, I've seen the movies, I have not read that many books in my life, guys, don't hate me, I've never read half these books, but I really, really enjoyed this box. I'm glad that I did get it, even though I was going to not get it. I am super pumped about these earrings in the bookmark. I think that the bookmark the earrings and the highlighter and sticky notes is probably my favorite thing from the box. I will definitely be using these things. I will definitely be wearing these earrings. That is for sure. So yeah, that was my unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for next week for a new video and I'll see you guys later. Bye!
Don't hate me because I'm not beautiful.